You spoke about the Gary Caldwell identity. Is that what we saw today? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, it's, I don't think it'll be that easy and I don't think we'll score five goals every week, but I felt uh, in the last few weeks that's been coming. I think we've dominated games, we've started creating more chances and it was about being ruthless and killing teams off and when we get in front then knowing how to control the games, keep up our intensity, keep doing what we were doing to get us in that position. And I thought today we were, we were fantastic. They were a threat first half, they put us under pressure, they asked questions of us. There was a few things I felt we could have been better at in the first half, which we showed at half time and then second half, once we created the free player in the middle of the pitch and the chances just kept coming and in fairness, I thought some of our finishing was excellent today. When we got those opportunities, we were, we were ruthless. Previously, we'd spoken about creating plenty of chances and not taking them. Was that perhaps our most complete performance of the season, certainly since your time here? Yeah, I think so. I've just said to the players, oh, we're, not, you know, we're not getting carried away. The big challenge this week was putting a consecutive run of uh, unbeaten games together in the last 10 games. So I said Tuesday night starts now. We, we focus on Barnsley and that starts with recovering properly, eating the right things, uh, resting, uh, being prepared for a, a huge game here against a team that's unbeaten in 12. It will be a much different proposition and game than, than we had today. Uh, but that's what we want, that's why we're at this level and uh, this is a great game in terms of building confidence to go into that game and you know, test ourselves against a team that's going for promotion. Let's break down the goals uh, one by one, starting with Dimitri, he's been co contributing, uh, he scored in, against Charlton and a few of his deliveries into the area have been superb since he's joined us, an absolutely superb finish and it looked like actually he was looking for a pass and in the end he just went, went for the strike. Yeah, brilliant goal, he's, he's been Superb since he's came into the club in January, made a huge difference. Uh, I think Al Hartridge has made a brilliant run as well. We've got a centre half underlapping in the final third, which creates space to allow Demi to come in. And off his right foot, I'm not as confident as off his left, but it was a fantastic finish and you know got us got us in front at a time when the game was was very much in the balance and it was a it was a difficult start to the game. So that was a big goal for us. Josh Key spoke last week about being disappointed that his goal in the end that Cheltenham counted for nothing. Well, it certainly counted for something in the second half because it set off a, a remarkable uh, 45 minutes. Yeah, and that's, you know, since I've came to the club, Josh has been tremendous. And the, the one thing that I think he can add to his games is goals. So to, to see him score again is brilliant. We have, you know, created that 1v1 in the wide area and Will has the, well, all our back players have that ability to play a longer pass. So when we invite pressure, we can play in that space. and. I thought they'd done it excellent and when he was when he was in it was great to see his composure and how he finished it off. So it was another well worked goal and something that we've been been working on in training. Three 0 Sam Lombay couldn't really miss that one, could he? Well Perks is claiming it's a set piece goal. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to look at it again. It's a, maybe a fourth phase. Uh, but we'll give him it because he's he's worked extremely hard with the players. We actually done an afternoon session on Thursday because we've been creating so many corners in games because of the possession we're having we feel we should be scoring more goals from those situations so uh, I'll, I'll give him this one but it was it was scrappy to say the least. James Scott someone I know you brought in with a, with a longer term vision looking into the next season he came off the bench and I don't think you even think it was a minute before he, he found the back of the net a, a fantastic ball from from Stano but great from James as well to find himself in that space at an absolutely wallop at home. Yeah, I think you've seen James's quality today. His, his fitness levels are improving every week. Uh, his physicality today, the way he held the ball up for the team, and and his finishing is off both feet. Is not that's his weak foot. He tells me his right foot, but uh, his finishing off both feet is exceptional. And yeah, all credit to Stano at that time when you're three 0 up in front of the big bank. It would have been very easy for him to to be selfish and take that shot, but. We keep speaking about the extra pass in the box and, and being unselfish and, and scoring goals for the team and Stano was fantastic there and it was a brilliant finish the way he passed it in the, in the top corner. Uh, and Stano, up until that point, had done everything but score. So when he was selfish, it certainly paid off to make it 5-0. I know he'd been sort of, a, it's a duck off his back finding that goal. He'd been itching for one for such a long time and to do it in front of the big bank on a personal level for him means a lot as well. Yeah, it was a, a brilliant moment. Uh, I think he's went a long time out of goal and, and since I've been here he's, he's training, his standards, his assists that he's got have been first class for a young player and uh, so happy for him to score at that end. 
I know I opened this interview when I said, is that the Gary Caldwell identity? What more do you think we need to see? I, I know it's hard to say after a 5-0 win, but it's the more you want from the players. Yeah, a lot more. I think you could see me in the technical area at 4-0, at 5-0, screaming, demanding more from, from the front players and how we press, demanding more in terms of moving into position to receive. Uh, I think I, I said on Tuesday after the Cheltenham game, the areas that we could be better from a, from a football point of view, but I didn't feel that was why we lost last week. There was other reasons, but even when we win, there's areas that we can improve and develop, and uh, we'll look at that again before Tuesday night to, to try and be even better, and we'll have to be even better against a, you know, a, a team that's not lost for 12 games, a team that's pushing for promotion. It's a, a brilliant challenge here at, at uh, SJP, and I think it's a challenge that we're ready for. And I'm sure the players don't need telling not to get carried away with a result like this. No, I've just told them that. It's, it starts now. Uh, as delighted as we are, you enjoy the victories, but uh, as a professional football player with a game on Tuesday, they have to recover, they have to eat right, they have to sleep uh, and, and be ready for a, for a huge test here on Tuesday night. And We need the supporters again, we need them to come out in big numbers under the lights and, and create a big atmosphere because it's, it's the challenge that we want in this league. And, uh, we're going in with great confidence.